Hello and welcome once again to the FM21 A-League Rundown. Each week here on Football Manager 21, we look back at all the news and results in the Mariners Massive Universe here on YouTube. As always, we begin with Adelaide United. And the Reds suffered a defeat this week, a 2-1 loss to ourselves, the Central Coast Mariners over in Gosford. And it was Stefan Mork uh, on the score sheet for the men from the City of Churches, a game in which VAR was a factor. Seemingly, uh, that is a regular occurrence in the A-League. Bit of transfer news around Cooper Stadium at the minute, as Adelaide have made an offer to loan Melbourne City's Conor Metcalf uh, for the rest of the season. A young 21-year-old there could be coming in, uh, along with uh, Park Ju Ho, uh, a full-back 34 years old from Ulsan. So that certainly looks like Carl Vert has identified the defence as a bit of a weak point and he's after some reinforcement to bolster that area of his squad. In addition, there's been a couple of other news items. Apparently, I have stated that I would prefer Matt Simon to even Harry Kane, uh, which I wasn't quite aware that I'd done, but apparently it was a question asked by journalist Michael Rogers. Uh, from the Australian Football Chronicle in uh, the press conference following the game. Did not know I'd said that, but there you go. I stand by every word. Also, we've got South Korean 29-year-old goalkeeper Cho Pil Su, uh, possibly on his way to Adelaide. And that, again, is another defensive signing. That suggests uh, that Carver is a little bit unhappy with his defensive corpse. Brisbane Raw secured a nil-nil goalless draw with Sydney FC, uh, but there is concern that veteran striker Scott McDonald has now gone eight games without a goal. Despite seemingly being on the shopping list of Mark Rudam uh, from Western United, Isaac Powell, a young defender, has suffered a gashed lower leg. So he was going to be out for 10 days. That was six days ago, so he is on the way back. He's made seven first-team appearances for Brisbane this year. In real life, not really seen much of him. Um, hoping to see more uh, in real life. Uh, hoping that he gets a few minutes on the pitch, because from what I've seen, really good player. Uh, hoping that uh, Warren Moon uh, puts him uh, onto the field. But you have to say, he is a left-back. Corey Brown doing a really good job, uh, both here in the Mariners Massive and in real life. So difficult to shift uh, an experienced player. In terms of Central Coast Mariners, we've been busy bolstering our staffing ranks. And of course, we earned that 2-1 win over Adelaide, thanks to goals from Dylan Ruiz-Diaz and Matty Simon. The big news is probably centred around Daniel Bowman. So his contract is due to expire in July. We're not in a rush, really, to renew. We want to see a bit more of him first, so we haven't yet offered him a new deal. But he has been busy refusing offers from Holland, including Go Ahead Eagles and Rhoda JC, which I think, I'm sure, uh, insane, that uh, was the former club of Daniel De Silva. So perhaps they're using one of their former players to uh, tap up one of his current teammates. Interesting. Uh, as you can see, we have signed different staff members. Florin Radicho uh, as a scout, uh, a Romanian international. Uh, and of course, he joins the likes of Big John Aloisi uh, as a man with a few uh, international caps to his name. MacArthur FC were disappointed with a 1-1 draw against Newcastle Jets. The Bulls have now gone eight games uh, without a win. As you can see, it's not looking good. Their only wins this season came in the first two games against Melbourne City, Perth Glory, then had one in January against Wellington Phoenix, but nothing since then. Pressure continues to mount on Anta Milicic, but I have to say, the last three games have all been draws, so they have been garnering points, but just not big ones. Uh, they drew 2-2 two -two, uh, with ourselves, uh, another Desmond with... Western United, uh, and then uh, have that 1-1 draw uh, against Newcastle Jets. Worryingly, uh, probably, that the last two games have been home ties, 
uh, which they probably would have expected to get three points from. Uh, especially considering that their last three home fixtures before then, uh, here against the Wanderers, the Knicks and Adelaide, all resulted uh, in losses as well. So clearly not quite settling in to their home at Campbelltown Stadium. Melbourne City's Patrick Kisnorbo is another manager under pressure. So he was on the verge of the sack, according to the Australian Football Chronicle. There it is again. With the board apparently losing patience uh, with him. Didn't turn out that way because he will have been relieved to get a 3-1 win over Western United. Uh, and that came thanks to goals from Jamie McLaren, of course, the man's effectively a cheat code. Adrian Luna and Nathaniel Atkinson. Interestingly, Craig Noon is now a target for Newcastle Jets. So I think he's been on Western United's shopping list uh, so far this season, uh, but he is now a target for the Jets. Could we see him make a move to the Hunter? Uh, clearly in demand. Uh, I'm surprised that Melbourne City haven't just stepped in and offered him a new contract. Uh, we've also got confirmation of the loan approach for Connor Metcalf. Melbourne victory boss Grant Brebner will be disappointed uh, to have lost a game to managerless Western Sydney Wanderers. So since Carl Vert, uh, sorry Carl Vert, Carl Robinson was sacked, uh, they have been fielding a caretaker boss. We'll check that out later on. Uh, but that is of course admit amid a loan offer for young Jay Barnett from Perth Glory. Uh, so interesting that they've uh, chosen him as a potential target. Newcastle Jets have signed up Angus Thurgate to a new three-year deal. I'm fairly sure this happened in real life as well. So art imitating life or the other way around, whichever way you look at it. Now they came back from 1-0 down to draw with MacArthur at Campbelltown Stadium. Uh, and it was Rami Najarine with their goal, uh, cancelling out Markle Susaita's uh, opener. In real life, uh, Najarine has been awarded the January Young Player of the Month, uh, which then gets added into the end of the season uh, vote. And the uh, Young Player of the Year is determined from that. So congratulations to him. I think he's been a really good signing uh, for Craig Dean's uh, side. Uh, certainly in real life, he's uh, absolutely doing the business. And as you can see here on Football Manager 21, he's also uh, scoring goals. For Perth Glory, it seems that they turned their attention to Jay Barnett only after uh, they were rejected by another player, Ruslan Margiev uh, from uh, the Super League. I'm not even going to pronounce the club that he's come from uh, or could have uh, moved from. I've just seen that and then retreated. I don't think that's going to end well for anybody. Uh, new glory boss Tony Vidmar oversaw a 3-2 loss uh, to Wellington Phoenix. Uh, but perhaps more serious was the loss of Diego Castro to injury. Uh, so as you can see, he suffered sprained knee ligaments. Uh, did old Diego, the uh, Spanish maestro, not looking good, a player of that age picking up a pretty serious injury there. So they could be without him uh, for some time. Sydney FC have now gone four games without a win after a goalless draw with Brisbane Raw this weekend. They lost to Perth Glory, then drew with Melbourne City, uh, drew with ourselves and uh, Brisbane Raw. Interestingly, Alessandro Del Piero has chimed in regarding the Sky Blues' upcoming Champions League group campaign, uh, pointing out that one of the uh, players to look out for is Brinner, a 33-year-old centre-back for one of their upcoming opponents. Not quite sure why an influential and often flamboyant Italian would be interested in a 33-year-old centre-back, but there you go. He's got two goals uh, from 13 starts and three substitute appearances. Uh, so... Perhaps he's a bit of a player. Who knows? Uh, Barbaricius, again, still not finding the back of the net. He's now gone 10 hours of competitive football uh, without a goal. 
and they say that football manager isn't realistic. Uh, of course, Costa was back on the score sheet uh, in recent times for the Sky Blues. Wellington Phoenix enjoyed a 3-2 victory over Perth Glory with Clayton Lewis, Cameron Devlin and a late David Ball goal marking a second three-point haul in succession. Uh, Ball did pick up a twisted ankle uh, during the game uh, so is expected to miss a few weeks with that injury. Uh, Cameron Devlin has got three months left on his deal but seemingly has no new contract uh, on the table. Uh, he's somebody that perhaps we should be looking at. I'm not quite sure. Uh, he's 22 years old, so he's a bit of experience, but he's still very young. Uh, plays in central midfield. Uh, I'm going to scout the player and then see if it's worth uh, making him a contract offer. In fact, what's he uh, interested in? This is the first time on Rundown that I've been distracted. He wants to be a star player. I refuse out of hand to give players this sort of thing. What sort of money is he on? Oh, he wants us to suggest, doesn't he? He's not fully convinced. Okay. Let's give him two years. A grand a week. Suggest. Ah, here we go. Minimum fee release costs 1.1 million, not too worried about that. Three years at 2.1k. Let's offer him the deal. See what happens. Western Sydney Wanderers, they picked up the 1-0 win over Melbourne Victory, with Keanu Bacchus scoring a goal in the second minute of added time right at the end of the game. Uh, so that was a key contribution. Uh, by him, as you can see, 1-0 uh, and there an 8.0 rating for the 22-year-old midfielder. Loan deals have been confirmed, including Mo Adam to Sydney Olympic, Tass Mordekutis to Rockdale City and Fabian Monge uh, now turns out for the Bonnie Rig White Eagles. Uh, so lots of transfer activity following the departure of Carl Robinson. Western United, well, they suffered a 3-1 loss to Melbourne City. Uh, it was Josh Risden with their goal. Uh, Mark Rudanside have now gone four games without a win. Uh, and it's now worryingly uh, two wins in nine. So the green and black not faring uh, very well, despite, it has to be said, some good performances by big game Bessart Barisha. In terms of the A-League table, uh, Kind of mirroring real life with the Mariners being on top. Wellington Phoenix here in the Mariners' massive world doing a lot better than they are in real life. Games we've played, it's 14, which is a lot more, obviously, than uh, the A-League that you'll see on your television. We've got a six-point cushion over the Knicks, uh, who are a further four ahead of Sydney, although uh, the Sky Blues do have a game in hand. Down at the bottom remain Perth Glory, just one win and three draws, uh, garnering six points uh, so far this season. Not worked out at all uh, for the side from HBF Park. In terms of upcoming fixtures, uh, we've got uh, Wellington Phoenix playing Western Sydney Wanderers. Perth will host Adelaide and hope that they can get uh, back on track. Three games on Saturday, the Big Blue, Melbourne Victory and Sydney FC before we host Melbourne City. I think that's like the third time we've played them already this season and uh, getting them out of the way. Western United are home against Newcastle Jets. And then just one fixture on Sunday, that's Brisbane Raw at home. Uh, they play MacArthur FC. So join us on Thursday for the Mariners Massive, where we will see uh, Melbourne City, the visitors to Gosford. I'll see you then.